Well, howdy, y'all. Over there. Uh, hopefully, y'all is having a great day. We did not get to play baseball yesterday. We're going to try it again today. Uh, I don't know how much of that I'll be able to watch, though, because actually today I get to go see a concert. Yeah, a real concert, like out in public and stuff, like at a venue and stuff. And weird, I know. Uh, going to go over to Edmonds to see um, Robert Cray. I don't really know. I gotta get that one down. That one, that one just dry, drives me a little bit batty. I, I can't get that. That I know the notes. I believe are correct. But how he plays them? Oh man, that, that's why I gotta go see him so I can figure this out. You know. And that that I don't. I have no idea how they play the E minor chord up there, but or excuse me, E flat, not E minor. Now I'm listening to this little more Cause it's how you And, uh, yes, I started listening to Robert Cray in the 80s. The first time I saw Robert Cray uh, was in Animal House. I don't know if you all know this, but Robert Cray was in Animal House. Robert Cray was the bass player in Otis Day and the Nights. If you just go back and watch Animal House, you can see his smiling face playing the bass. And, yeah, it's a bass that he's playing in, in that movie. So, uh, first time I ever saw Robert, Robert Cray was... Um, in 1977 when Animal House came out. So, uh, but uh, I started listening to him in the 80s and uh, Strong Persuader, I know that album pretty good. And I'm gonna be really embarrassed if he doesn't play a lot off of that because, well, I know I know some like In the Dark and all that stuff, but uh, I, I really kind of lost track. Uh, the one thing I really kind of always wanted to do, like I said, I've been listening to him since the 80s. So the, the one thing that I always found that I wanted to do in later in life. I wanted to still be a fan and still see if he would respond to the name they gave him a long time ago, Young Bob. Bob ain't so young no more, you know? So Bob's older than I am. And if I think I'm old, I mean, I don't know how Young Bob feels about being called Young Bob no more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But he's an amazing guitar player, and um, I think he's lost a lot of his uh, singing while he plays solos. But that was one of the things that I always loved about him was he would be like... You know, and he'd just be singing the, the notes as as he played them. And um, that was one of the things that I always loved about his playing. Um, anyway, uh, that that's my day today. I'm gonna I'm gonna go try and have a good day. Uh, have a great day. Gonna go listen to some great music live, actually. And hopefully, everybody else can go out and so at some point and do that too. And uh, I hope you all is having a great day. I'll give you a report on the, on the show tomorrow. Uh, but uh, that's me. I'm going to see some blues with my sister. And uh, and uh, I hope you all is having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. And I will see you then. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get that subscription thing up. You know, I think I forgot the commercial, but nah. Well, whatever. Oh, and I got more more news about the uh, about my treatment. I get to go back to chemo on Monday. Yeah, great. 
it was supposed to be scans, but my doctor changed her mind. So it's like, okay, I can go back for more chemo. And so I uh, enjoy my lucidity for a little while, for at least until next Monday. And then I'll be back and crazy again. So you can come back for the, uh, back, uh, next week. And, uh, I, like I said, I hope y'all is having a great day and, uh, always look up. He's there for you and I will see you then. Peace.